If your iPhone or iPad freezes on the Apple logo during startup, here's what to do. We'll show you how to force restart your device first, and then, if you still need help, how to enter recovery mode to update or restore it. First, we'll try force restarting your device, which might allow it to start up normally while preserving your data. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, a second generation or later iPhone SE, an iPhone 8, or an iPhone 8 Plus, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then, press and quickly release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until your screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. On an iPad without a home button, press and quickly release the volume button closest to the top button. Then, press and quickly release the volume button farthest from the top button. Then, press and hold the top button until your screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. If you have an iPad with a home button, press and hold the top button and the home button at the same time. Keep holding the buttons until your screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. If your device is still frozen, Here's how to enter recovery mode so you can update or restore it. Before you start, make sure you have access to a Mac or Windows computer and a compatible cable. First, connect your device to a computer. If you have a Mac using Mac OS Catalina or later, open the Finder. If you're using Mac OS Mojave or earlier, open iTunes. If you're using a Windows computer, Open Apple Devices or iTunes. Let's open the Finder. Keeping your device connected, follow these steps to enter recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, a second generation or later iPhone SE, an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 8 Plus, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then, Press and quickly release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. This might take a moment or two. On an iPad without a home button, press and quickly release the volume button closest to the top button. Then, press and quickly release the volume button farthest from the top button. Then, press and hold the top button until the recovery mode screen appears. This might take a moment or two. If you have an iPad with a home button, press and hold the top button and the home button at the same time. Keep holding the buttons until the recovery mode screen appears. This might take a moment or two. On your computer, you should have the option to update your device. Click Update and the newest compatible version of iOS or iPadOS will download and install on your device. Just follow the prompts and be sure to keep your device connected while the Apple logo and progress bar are on the screen. You might be asked to review and accept the terms and conditions in order to continue. If you agree, click Agree to confirm. If the update can't complete, you'll be prompted to restore your device. It will restore to factory settings and you will need a backup to recover any data. If the download takes longer than 15 minutes, your device will exit recovery mode. To re-enter recovery mode, you'll need to repeat the button presses described in the previous section. After the update is completed, your device should restart and your lock screen will appear. If you still need help, contact Apple Support to get connected with an advisor. To learn more about your Apple devices, subscribe to the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching. Some sequences in this video were shortened.